Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. This is actually future Sabrina here. Today is uh, February 9th. I just want to tell you guys that the next couple of clips you're going to see are very, very random and all over the place and about a week or two old. I've just been kind of struggling with my regular vlogging style just because I've been going through a lot of things. A lot of the times that I would vlog, I would do just like one short clip one day and then completely forget or not have any motivation to continue vlogging so then i'll wait another couple days and then i'll just get one clip from that day and it's just all over the place and very jumbled and i'm putting this clip in first to apologize and just to give you guys a warning that it might be a little bit confusing i don't even know i don't know i haven't really looked at the clips and stuff but i just know that it's all over the place so i just wanted to state that and let you guys know so let's go ahead and continue on to the vlog good morning guys um it's been a pretty rough morning this morning but anyways i just got a really exciting package here it is i don't know if you guys will be able to tell what it is right now but oh you can see it. I know, I know you guys are probably wondering what the heck, Sabrina, you just got your MacBook a year ago. What the hell are you doing buying another one? So, if you guys watched my last unboxing video I did last year, I mentioned that the reason why I got this one was because the iMac that I have did not have any more storage and I thought by getting the 256 gig it would be enough but that unfortunately was not enough. I find myself running into a ton of issues um, with storage because sometimes I wouldn't be able to render the video because there wasn't enough storage left and I would have to delete a lot of files that I just did not want to delete and um, it was kind of just too much stress and too much of a hassle to keep doing all of that. I just paid the difference to get this one. And another reason why I wanted to get this one is because of the new M1 chip. If you guys haven't heard of it, apparently it's supposed to make the computer super, super powerful, a lot more faster, really, gr really great for editing, um, video editing. I've honestly not seen any negative reviews about the new M1 chip, which really is what really sold me on getting this new laptop. I got the same color and everything, same size, but I got one terabyte instead of the 256 gig that I had. Instead of eight gigs of RAM, I got 16 gigs of RAM, and then of course the M1 chip. I know for a lot of you this might seem like overkill. I'm primarily going to use this for editing videos. It's just nice to have a really powerful, fast laptop to do that and to not have to worry about memory or storage and all of that stuff. So I think this is a really, really good investment for me, um, especially if I'm going to be doing YouTube for the long run. When you invest so much money into something that you love doing, it's a motivation for you to keep going at it and keep going with it. So that is my explanation for that. Oops. I'm just gonna do a quick journal entry. I wanted to show you guys this little gadget that I bought a while ago. I bought it specifically for journaling and stuff and it's really really cool it just prints out um, a picture so there's an app that you have to get and then I chose just this old picture of Lacey it's not super old just a couple weeks and then you can also adjust it and like add frames text or whatever to it but I'm just gonna do plain yay so there's the picture I think it's pretty decent quality when it prints out and then it's just like a sticker so you just peel the back and stick it to whatever you want normally i would do a picture of like what i did that day or like something particular to that day i just wanted to print out this picture because it's cute so i'm just gonna write a quick little journal entry
happy Saturday. Little Trader Joe's preview of what we got. We got some new stuff I wanted to show you guys. Ghost pepper potato chips, green onions. Got some new treats for Lacey, both of the salmon ones. And then oranges, apples, canned tuna. We just tried these uh, roasted cauliflower and cheese raviolis and they're super, super good. Definitely recommend them. We got two of the Aussie style chocolate cream sandwich cookies. These are supposed to be like Tim Tam, so we're super excited to try these ones as well. This is also new, or it's like seasonal, I think. It's the mochi cake mix, and all you do is add water, eggs, and butter. Another new item. This is the Danish Kringle, the pecan flavor. If you guys remember that we got the almond one last time, and it was um, really yummy. So we're gonna try the pecan one, hoping it's as good as the other one. We got some more cucumbers. They're my favorite vegetable. More of the chocolate covered wafer cookies. Um, tomatoes. Another new item. These are the sesame teriyaki chicken wings. Um, you can just put them in the air fryer. Got some more ch uh, chicken, <laughs> chicken, chicken cilantro mini wontons. These are pretty small and not that bad for you, and they're really good if you like cilantro because they're very cilantro-y. Got some more of these haddock fillet fish. I like this one because it's wild caught and not My hard. friend Davina just dropped this off and it's so cute. She gave me some crackers too. She's starting to do these um, to-go charcuterie boards. They're super, super cute. Let me open it for you guys. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I think it kind of got jumbled a little bit because it was in the car ride. They're just like different fruit, cheese, chocolate covered pretzels. Sometimes she'll put like a little note here in the middle. There's like a tiny little spatula, chocolate covered strawberries, and then like I said, she has a pack of crackers for me too. So thank you so much. Can't wait to eat this tonight. I'm about to start editing this video, but I wanted to show you guys my new blanket. Isn't it cute? Sorry, it's not the best, best view, but corgis on it. Corg boba corgi. There's like food, like milk, a cheese corg. More cheese, I love cheese. Another corgi and like little cherry blossoms and stuff. Isn't it the cutest little blanket ever? I'll post it down below the Instagram that I got this from. Um, she makes a whole bunch of corgi merch. I have some stickers on my hydroflask too that she made. This one and then this one that my cousin got me a couple years ago, but yeah. So cute. I also wanted to share with you guys the K-dramas I've been watching since I haven't really updated you guys in a while of what I've been up to and stuff, but I, I finished two in the last week. Um, True Beauty, which is that one. So good. It's like another love triangle one, but this one was really, really hard because I liked both of the guys. I was going to be sad either way, whoever she picked, so, but it's a really, really cute one. I finished uh, Gaudry's Restaurant, and this one was really short. Each episode's about uh, 20 minutes, um, so it was a really fast one. Um, it was kind of like a feel-good romance, and then currently I'm watching My Mister, which is I believe it came out two years ago. This one was kind of hard for me to get into, but now I really, really like it. It's kind of a little bit depressing, but I think it's a really good one so far. It's the one that a lot of people have talked about, so definitely recommend it. I was trying to watch Hotel de Luna just because a lot of people like it, but it's really hard for me to get into. I don't know, maybe I'm just not into like the fantasy genre for K-dramas, but uh, we'll probably try to um, give it another try. And then I watched all these on Vicky. By the way, it, you do need a subscription, but I think there's some that you can watch for free, but with ads. Alright, welcome so. back. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to give you guys a couple of updates and stuff on how I've been doing and all that. I've been struggling with making videos and making vlogs for YouTube just because I've been going through so much and everything's just been super overwhelming. The whole main reason why i've been struggling is because of what we've been going through with lacy if you guys are long time viewers you would know lacy has a lot of medical issues that we've been trying to resolve for the past like almost three years and it's been really really tough just the last couple of months it's been getting harder and harder for the past like two and a half years we've been told that she has chronic allergies as well as chronic bronchitis. So this whole time we've been thinking like, oh, this is not gonna be like a life-threatening thing, you know? We just have to eliminate what triggers her allergies and stuff, which is mainly indoor instead of um, outdoor. 
environmental allergies so like dust and like mold and stuff like that just so much that you can do like we try to clean as much as possible i've bought i've spent so much money on air purifiers and humidifiers and nothing was working she just turned four years old and when she was i think it was in 2019 she was on this certain medication for a whole year because we thought this was a solution but then we later found out that it was actually really really bad long term so after we found that out we were like okay let's try different medications see what we can do that's what we've been doing for pretty much this past year trying different medications as well as me doing so much research and trying to look up different holistic remedies and stuff like that but literally nothing was working just got to the point where like her cough was getting so like so bad and very severe and we really did not want to turn back to the old medication that she was taking because we've heard so many bad things about it but we decided to set up a, an appointment with a different internal specialist because although we did like the previous vet that we were seeing we just wanted to get a different opinion see if there's different medications that we could take or different like a different route we could take and also because that vet was pretty far from us and we wanted somewhere that was a lot closer so we found a internal specialist and set up an appointment and um, she didn't have any availability until a week after we set up the initial appointment and during that week while we were waiting it was very very hard because Lacey was going through it was just hard to watch her because she was coughing so much to the point where she was starting to struggle breathing and we would have lots of sleepless nights I couldn't my baby she's she like sat right next to me oh my baby I'm gonna cry <laughs> I lost my train of thought for the past year Nigel and I have not had a night where we didn't wake up in the middle of the night to her coughing and having a coughing attack you know which led to us like being just sleep deprived all the time and then my mental health was getting really really bad because i wasn't getting enough sleep and with me going to school and work and all this stuff like it was just very overwhelming and it was just hard knowing that she's going through that and knowing that there was nothing that we could do to help her so during that week while we were waiting for the appointment we actually had one scare where her coughing attack was so bad that it looked like her tongue was turning blue which I know is a very very bad sign so we rushed her to the emergency vet and once we got there they checked her vitals and her oxygen all that stuff and she was fine at her appointment it was just a consultation they weren't able to do any procedures anything like that until another week after which sucked because it would mean that we'd have to wait another week dealing with this and her not being able to get enough oxygen and enough sleep it's a very very difficult week for us because i honestly was scared that she wasn't going to make it through the week and i was just hoping and praying every single night that she'd be able to get through it so her appointment came she got a whole bunch of different procedures done but i said that everything was pretty much still the same as her previous appointment that she had with her old internal specialist saying that she has chronic um, rhinitis and chronic bronchitis she also had a suspicion about this certain disease which is pretty rare but I did a lot of research on it and I feel like she really does have this um, condition but the thing that sucks is that there's obviously no cure for it and the only known treatment so far is the medication that she was taking before that is apparently not good for her long term so she had to go under anesthesia for these procedures and I was like an emotional wreck the whole day because I was anxious and worried about how she would do under anesthesia she's done it a couple times before and was fine her health at that point just wasn't good and I was scared that something was going to happen and then long and behold a couple hours after we had dropped her off the vet called us and said that they were having trouble waking her up and she was also struggling to breathe and they gave us like not really much like reassurance that she was going to be okay they're just like well this is where we are right now and we just wanted to let you know that we're doing the best we can and then after that phone call i honestly seriously thought that we were going to lose her that day because I knew I knew that she wasn't doing well those past couple of weeks like she wasn't really eating much she wasn't playful and I just was preparing myself to lose her and I was actually supposed to go to work that day but I obviously couldn't because of my mental state like I was uncontrollably crying for hours I could not stop crying about like two hours later they called back and they said that she was fine she she was doing good sorry I didn't think I was gonna cry again um and then I cried some more because I was just so relieved they said that they had to put her into the ox oxygen tank 
or oxygen chamber because she was still having some troubles breathing told us that she might have to stay overnight in the oxygen chamber because she was struggling so much so um, we went ahead and let her stay overnight just to be safe and the next day we took her home and she was still having a lot of trouble the doctor did say that um, the medication would take a while to kick in just because her insides were just so inflamed like her her lungs her airways um, her trachea they were just all very swollen and inflamed at this point she said that she thinks that she might have to be on that medication for the rest of her life this is not very ideal for us but the only thing pretty much keeping her alive at this point today is Tuesday we took her home on Friday and day by day she's been getting a lot better she's still not 100% I would say she's about maybe 50% um, to being on the road to getting better I know that this medication isn't very ideal and could lead possibly lead to more medical issues in the future but i'm just trying not to think about it too much because i just want her even if she does live a shorter life than usual at least she won't have to be restricted we weren't able to take her on walks or take her to the dog park or do any of like the normal dog stuff because she was just so unhealthy at least like her quality of life will be better now um rather than her passing and you know not living the best life that she could and that's what I just keep trying to tell myself there's a lot of people in my life who don't really understand because they don't like animals or don't like really know the purpose of pets and stuff but she's literally my child my everything she means the world to me and I know a lot of you who don't have pets or like care to get pets won't really understand but you know she's literally <laughs> my child and just the thought of losing her really really breaks my heart but yeah dealing with that was just really really difficult and I just wanted to update you guys on why I haven't really been posting that much or filming or really putting much effort into my vlogs and stuff but now that she's getting better um everything is starting to slowly get back to normal kind of and I have to catch up on schoolwork and stuff because I've kind of neglected doing schoolwork because of what's been going on i just want to say thank you to all my friends and viewers that have been really really supportive through this time Nikki hey, bubba do you want to say hi we love you okay so i just wanted to end this vlog here but i also wanted to share with you my book of the month order because i'm really excited about it reading was also one of the things that i have not been putting too much time into because of what's been going on but i'm really excited to start getting back into it because my pile of books to be read is like this high right now like i need to get back on that this month i actually got three books um one of them was from the monthly pick but two of them are just add-ons first book i got is called honey girl by morgan rogers and this is pretty much about a a uh, girl, she's a beautiful woman of color, as you can see, and she, I forget what the synopsis was, but she pretty much gets married to another woman in Vegas, kind of like on a whim, and then this kind of leads to her thinking like, what the fuck am I doing with my life, you know? So she's kind of just like reflecting and figuring out like what she wants to do with her life and all this stuff, but it just seems like a really nice feel-good read. I kind of want to take a break from like the thrillers I've been reading, so... Honey Girl. The other two books, which is funny because I literally just said I want to take a break from thrillers, but these two books are actually thrillers. So the first one is called The Silent Patient. This one was really, really popular. This one's pretty much about a woman who murders her husband, and then once she does that, she kind of gets sent to a psych ward or something because she completely goes silent and never talks anymore. And I think it's in the point of view of her as well as her therapist or like a psychologist. This one is called Before She Knew Him. This is about a couple who meets another couple who are their new neighbors and while they're over at their house for like dinner or something i think she's like walking around the house to use the bathroom or something i don't know but she recognizes an item in one of the rooms that was actually like a piece of evidence or something from a murder that happened so now she's thinking that her na her new neighbor is like a serial killer or something so 
that's pretty much what that book is about super excited to read these and of course i actually want to do a subby shout outs because since my vlogs have been all over the place i have not been able to do a subby shout out in a while so let's go ahead and do that today's subby shout out is going to go to donna grim it's donna grim thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos once again i apologize that the vlog was all over the place but i hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless and Hopefully, I'll be able to get back on track with these videos. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.